There have been quite a few posts circulating the internet saying the best way to play Starfield is mainlining the campaign and doing all of the side stuff once you get to New Game Plus. So I did just that. And after roughly a 25 hour campaign run, I can confidently say that you should not rush through the campaign. But you also shouldn't ignore it either. That makes no sense. I know that sounds contradictory, so let's get into it. I want to preface by saying I'll be keeping this part spoiler free of what goes down within the campaign and at the end of the video provide a few more revealing details about what New Game Plus means for those who need a little more info. The first thing I want to get out of the way is that there is no right or wrong way to play Starfield. If you were already planning on doing only side missions, shipbuilding, and anything non-campaign related, go do it to your heart's content. Vice versa, if you want to learn all the secrets and mystery behind the main campaign, you can most certainly just focus on the campaign portion of the game and have a wonderful time. Where the gray area starts to get muddy is if you're someone who wants to do both. If you happen to be one of those players, then I would recommend splitting your time in a 60-40 or 70-30 manner between the two. 60 to 70% of your time should be spent on the main campaign quest with the 30 to 40% remaining for you to do whatever catches your interest. I think if you spend too much time on everything but the main campaign, it can make diving into New Game Plus a tougher decision than you might want it to be. I'm going to navigate this as spoiler free as possible, so bear with me if it feels a little vague. As you progress through the main campaign, you're presented with different choices and decisions that help shape your story within Starfield. The deeper into the story you get, the tougher those fork in the road moments become and have tangible effects on how the campaign plays out. The toughest decision might end up being whether you decide to do New Game Plus or not. That is the beauty of it though, as it is a choice to do New Game Plus and not a requirement. And because of this choice, there are pros and cons that you'll have to weigh at the end of the campaign when deciding to do New Game Plus. I think if you spend all your time doing factions, shipbuilding, outposts, and side quests, it can make the end game decision feel like you're left without any choice in this matter. I know that's vague, but what entails within New Game Plus is closely tied to the story and I don't feel comfortable going into detail about it quite yet. Rest assured, you can play the entire campaign before having to make any decision around New Game Plus. If you're really on the fence, you can also have separate save files of your character so you can have your cake and eat it too. I personally would do the 60-40 method on your first run and discover things you love doing within the game along the way. The main campaign does a great job of putting you in a variety of situations and locations that give you a taste of everything that Starfield has to offer. Enjoy the journey, figure out what you love, then dive into New Game Plus and heavily pursue some of those aspects that you fell in love with on the first playthrough. But, like I said earlier, Starfield is all about playing the game how you want to play it and the recommendation I'm making are for those who want to do both the main quest and everything else that Starfield has to offer. I know that's vague, but you won't have to make that tough choice till the very end, and even then, you can still salvage it with multiple save files. Now, if you need more detail, I will give you more detail about what really entails with New Game Plus, but I'm giving you the opportunity now to step away to avoid any spoilers. If I see anyone in the comments saying I spoiled it for them, it's on you because you could have left with plenty of time. So three, two, one, are you still here? You still wanna hear this? I'm not spoiling the campaign, just giving a few more New Game Plus details. We're good? You sure? So the big kicker to New Game Plus that may make it a tough decision for many is the fact that the only, and I mean only, thing your character keeps going into New Game Plus is your skill tree. That's right, your weapons, ships, outposts, spacesuits, and anything else you can think of are gone. You do get a few things rewarded to you as a token for your efforts, but if you spent all of your time grinding out a ship building or creating an insane mansion for an outpost, you may view New Game Plus as a punch in the gut. The campaign provides great reason as to why this is the case, and there is a ton of replay value within New Game Plus, but that kind of loss may be too much to bear for some. Like I said though, you do not have to do New Game Plus, and the game does a great job of making this very clear. So don't worry about going through the campaign and then poof, all your stuff is gone. <laughs> that won't happen. But that's why I think 60-40 on your first playthrough might be best for you. You can get a taste of everything without feeling trapped in any one decision. I feel like New Game Plus is where I can dive into the shipbuilding, faction missions, outposts, and side quests with more gusto while also replaying some missions differently than I had in the first playthrough. But that's just me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you're enjoying the game, so drop a comment and let me know what you think of Starfield so far. 
My definitive review of Starfield is still in the works because this game is so freaking massive. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, a like goes a long way in helping out the channel as well. This is Josh Robinson, Joystick Gamer. Thank you for watching and pursue the stars out there.